gosh, Henrietta, look at all of these rocks in your front yard. How are you going to relax and just be a happy hen hen if all of this is in the way? All right, we're gonna have to go ahead and do something about this ivy burr. All right, everybody, watch your feathers. There we go. I can't believe how quickly the rocks just like pop up out of nowhere on our farm. Oh, hey, good. We got two more little harvest sprites. No doubt it's because, you know, we're secretly related to the harvest goddess herself, a distant descendant, and our innate powers just makes it so that like everything on our farm is constantly thriving, uh, you know, for the role play of it. But hello everyone and welcome, welcome back to the beauty of a moss leaf farm, our wild forest here in Olive Town. And we are getting ready, hopefully, to add in some beautiful new flowers. Ah, at least I would love to spend some of my day adding flowers. Oh gosh, and Sybil seems extremely happy right now. But we have a lot of work that we're going to be doing, particularly with treasure hunting. So today's big project is going to be trying to gather up a ton. Oh, and I'm gonna need a little bit more water. Yay, and my onions are ready to ship. Oh, that's gonna be fantastic. We'll have to go get some more onions to go ahead and grow because we always have such good luck with selling our onions. But today's big project is actually going to be using our bucket! We need to gather up tons and tons of clay so that we can try to go ahead and create a bunch of bricks to take up to Town Hall and the Mayor, where we are apparently using bricks to possibly end up growing like a... or growing? Building some benches. <laughs> I can't believe I said growing some benches. That's just, oh, that's so silly. But all right, let's go ahead and gather up these spring onions of friendship first. Oh, yay, another harvest sprite popped out. I can't wait until we can have like a hundred of them for all of the sprites we know. Though I wonder when and how we'll be able, oh, another one. I wonder when and how we'll actually have a chance to go ahead and meet some of the other, oh, Ivy. Ivy girl, I love you, but you're kind of standing in the way of my of my onions. All right, we actually need to get, looks like, so we need 12 onions, I believe. And Ivy is just being very protective of that particular onion. Yeah, we need nine, 10, 11, 12 onions. So we'll have to go ahead and buy some of those. Yay! 3,000, almost 4,000 gold. Oh, I'm telling you guys, we've got a lot of great money in onions. But we're going to try to add in some flowers and then spend a lot of time looking for clay by searching for treasure in the little ponds here in town today, or here on our farm today. And also hopefully visiting with George later to give him an egg, because it turns out that George seems to like eggs, and George is our current role play randomization selected villager that we're gonna try to really get to know and befriend. All right. So that maybe George, as the fairy captain, can tell us some about the uh, secret treasures that we keep finding on our farm, and maybe some of the rumored pirate captains who used to live in the area burying treasure all over my land. All right. And if, again, if you're not here for the roleplay, I'm not sure why you're here, but it's getting to be a really good time with the roleplay. Adding just that extra little layer of wonderful story to everything. Also, like, how on earth are you going to be able to graze with all of these trees? I can't believe I'm the one, like, chopping down all of these trees. But, well, we'll like I said, we'll just say that my, like, innate harvest goddess powers are kind of going bonkers because I can't control them and I'm growing way too much stuff there we go we'll get that out of the way and we'll get this out of the way there now there's a little bit more room for our poor animals to come out hey Unta how are you doing today my precious alpaca oh pretty good it seems all right we've got some sage good 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 and now we've got a few more bricks. So how are we doing on the brick situation for the mayor? Well, we've got seven out of the 30 or 20, excuse me, bricks we need. So wow, that might actually go a lot faster than I was expecting. Do we have our final cow out yet? Oh, look how happy they are to be outside. We don't, but everybody seems to be in a great mood. All right, we'll get the yogurt and the mayonnaise machine working. Oh wait, I don't have the... Oh, I forgot to go ahead and grab ourselves. Forgot to grab ourselves the eggs. But that's okay. 
I'm just gonna go get some of the onion seeds and maybe a few of the flowers that are for sale for summer. Oh, I can't wait, I can't wait. And we might, well, we have a bunch of meals on hand, so I probably, oh no, my onions aren't for sale. Jesse, could you please sell me some onion seeds? Congratulations on your win. I'm certain that all the pets are singing your praises right about now. Oh, thank you, Jesse. Everyone did splendidly at the derby, both the owners and their pets. Oh, everyone's still talking about the pet derby. Seeing those pets run their little hearts out really lights a fire in my belly. That race was really something. Bravo. I figured you were a shoe in Oh, thank you very much for that, Simon. I guess I, th this place is closed on Mondays. Uh, or Tuesdays. I knew that. I just forgot. But all right, let's go up and we'll try getting some flower seeds today then. Oh, and my new outfit should be ready. Yes! Hey, Lynn, how are you today? <laughs> the pet derby has come and gone. I'm a little sad to see the festivities come to an end. Oh, I kind of am too. Here, I got this hibiscus for you from some harvest sprites. Do you like it? <laughs> Thank you, I like this sort of thing. Yay! <laughs> you won the pet derby? Amazing! Lynn is just so freaking friendly. I need to bring her grandfather some fish at some point too. All right, buy items. <gasps> hibiscus seeds! Yes! Oh, and the marigold seeds! Flowers that can be sown in summer. With proper care, they'll bloom into honey yellow marigolds after five days of planting. Oh, and I have a whole bunch of petunia seeds that I totally forgot about in my chest. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get three of the hibiscus seeds, and we'll get three of these marigold seeds. Because I would love to work with the hibiscuses and the marigold. And then what does it take to make... Ooh! Huh, we would need to have some sunflowers in order to make a blazing waltz. I wonder if we should visit with our little friends, the Harvest Sprites, and start collecting some of the special flowers they sell so that we can try to make a very special bouquet. Like, I would love to be able to grow some sunflowers. Do you think the sunflowers are going to grow wild on our farm and that's how you find them? <gasps> Oh, and look, you can actually make the Earth Concerto. Look at that, the Earth Bouquet with a bunch of the flowers that we already have on the farm. The Peninsula's Four Wildflowers. I want to make that for Lynn. I think she would love that. Hmm. Well, that was nice and relaxing. I'm already looking forward to next year's pet derby. Oh, Nguyen. Like, ugh, I love their flower shop. It just makes me happy to be inside. All right. And then let's go ahead and collect our new outfit. Ivy Burr, you stay outside with Wild Secret for a second. Yes! All right, we've got the new outfit. Let's do this, friends. Very excited to go ahead and enjoy. It wasn't these overalls. <gasps> Look at how cute that is! Oh my gosh. Do I want my farmer straw hat? Oh my gosh, I want that on. You guys? Behold our new adorableness. We're so cute. Look at us now. Karina, what do you think? The people here are so unique. What a groovy bunch. Karina, it sounds like you're picking up some of Gian's uh -huh. like way of speaking. I want to go hang out somewhere. Oh, let's see. I want a new hat because this is a cute hat, but I would love to figure out what do I need to give her to be able to make me... <gasps> Is that the hat I want though? No, I really, I kind of want, oh, but that is cute. Okay, I think I do want that hat. No, the yellow one's even better and I just need to bring her some of those other uh, like soft grasses that we've been finding. Do I want any of the other hats? No, I really want the little soft grass hat. Oh, I love that little chef hat. <gasps> the flower crown. Oh, I need to see if our little Harvest Bright friends have these flowers, what are they? The lily and the primrose. Oh, wow. Maybe we'll be able to get those from our little Harvest Sprite friends. And that would put me like one step closer to really being like, hmm, let's get the mineral. I actually love the Mineral Town cap with this outfit and that's free. So we'll have her start working on that. I love how Karina's just like giving us all these free outfits. Thank you, Karina. Okay, I feel freaking adorable. I hope we get lots and lots of other outfits unlocked. 
Oh, hey, Damon Lars. I like the derby pretty good. How about you guys? All right, so they all had a good time. I imagine they're telling Ivy Burr that she did a good job because she's a good horse. All right, let's see what the town needs today. Do we have any special request I can fulfill? I'm working on the bricks. Let's see. Three lemon marigolds for Sydney! I forgot Sydney even lives in this town. <laughs> so I should probably go ahead and get her those lemon marigolds. Sounds like a good idea if you ask me. All right. So we'll grab those lemon marigolds. Hey, Bridget. When we come back over to go ahead and actually visit with um, George when he comes home. Because for now, friends, I meant it when I said, I want to go treasure hunting. So we're going to plant these seeds really quickly. And then we're going to go treasure hunting because I want to see. And let's plant them right here. I want to go treasure hunting. Oh my gosh. And I think this is it. Yes. Okay. And actually, friends, this is the last bit of the supple law lumber that we need to make the bridge that's going to go over to the gold mine. What a perfect thing to unlock on treasure hunting day. Oh my word. Like everything is just happening really quickly all of a sudden. I've got flower treasures. I've got a new outfit. All right. We'll put away these logs and this sap. And what we actually need, there we go, 30 supple lumber. And then we just need to grab the 10 silver ore and we can actually repair the bridge. What? That is so cool. All right, and then we'll go ahead and water this little spot right here, just like so. Excellent, excellent. I'm gonna need to eat all of my food so that we don't get too tired. And we'll sow the marigold seeds and chomp down some shellfish soup real quick. Probably not refreshing in this weather, but that's okay. We do have some egg sandwiches too. Oh wow, those egg sandwiches are really filling. Yay, all right. Whoops, all right, all right. Look, I know my job. I need to do my little job and take good care of my farm. Oh, I haven't milked my other cow. That's why I don't have anything there. All right, all right. Out of the way, everybody. We'll ship this yogurt. And you know what? I'll ship the wild berries today, because why not? In fact, I'll even ship the sage, because I haven't found a way to use it very effectively yet. A little bit goes a long way if you add up a penny a day, right? All right, and let's do this. We're going to go treasure hunting, and we're actually going to do it, well, partially right here. We got to stop over to grab the bricks, and now I'm out of clay. But we only need 10 more bricks and we'll be good there. And I've got all of these treasures that we actually have stuck inside. So we want 10. There we go. All of these treasures that are stuck inside that wooden item box. All right. Look at these. We'll clear up these ponds in just a little bit. But we're going to come over. Oh my gosh. Look at that little guy. Do we have a picture of him yet? I need to get the camera back out for these kinds of special moments. All right, let's see. Right here. And then we'll go ahead. Hello, little friend. Oh, I don't want to spook him. The brown ermine. Oh, he's adorable. I don't think we have a picture of him yet, do we? Oh, right over here, okay. And we haven't turned it in yet, though, because the day I tried to turn that in, I remember now, that is the day that actually Gloria and, um, Gloria and, oh no, I feel so bad. The girl who works at, not Beth, but the other girl, Rania. That's when Gloria and Rania actually walked away from us while we were turning things in. And I threw my arms up in the air, like, oh no, what do we do? All right, let's see. Where, oh, where are we going here? Right over here. This is it, friends. This is the bridge. We have the materials. We've got the supple lumber. We've got the silver ingots. Come on, Nigel, be amazing for us. So, you're looking to get this bridge fixed up. I'll need some time then. Want to make sure this bridge is nice and sturdy. All right, let's get started. Yes, thank you, Nigel. Sweet! All right, so Nigel's gonna go ahead and work on that, and that means we're gonna spend the rest of today scooping, swishing, looking... Oh, 
That's how you get all of crystals? They're hiding? Oh my gosh. All of crystals are the thing I think we need to actually get in order to go ahead and fix up that really cool area. Uh, the like the hydro plant facility or something like that. And also, can we scoop out all of this water with our iron bucket to get treasure in here? Oh man, this is hard. Will this help out my scooping skill though? Oh, okay. Let's actually check like how do you look at this? Look at this. This is so cool. A rare treasure made from a crystallized olive. It can be placed on the countertop in your house or donated to the museum. Oh wow. And how are we doing on my drain my draining skill is only level four? <laughs> Alright. You know what? No one said treasure hunting was gonna be easy. And it doesn't seem to be particularly physically demanding on me to go ahead and dig this out. All right, come on, pond. Come on. Reveal your treasure. Phew, and there we go. And we got two heavy objects from that pond. Okay. Also, I probably need to like clear some of these out so I can actually see what we're doing. Jeez, are these trees different than the other trees we were knocking down? Because they seem to be a lot harder to work with. I actually think they are. Oh! <gasps> So are these the types of trees that I need to be chopping down and making lumber out of to fix the hydro plant? Because that would be the true treasure all along. Forget actual treasure in heavy bags in my pocket. If I could actually be able to fix the hydro plant, I will be so tickled. All right, all right, all right. Come on, keep going. You've got this little Siri. Oh, <gasps> these are durable logs. These are totally different than the other logs I've been working with. Mind blown! An old mighty log marked with many rings. I had no idea that there was actually a fourth type of lumber already available on our farm. My jaw is like on the ground right now. Okay, we're gonna have to go ahead and definitely- Oh, look, there's one of the little bugs I keep hearing, yes! We will have to go ahead and definitely turn in some of these treasures. It's a giant stag beetle. What better sign of the season could we ask for? Hey, buddy. My friend Blathers would hate to see you. Just saying. All right. I just want to zoom in a little on him. Look how cool he is. All right. And then I think I have enough energy to go ahead and scoop a few little puddles. And now I know we want to like gather up all of those magic blue flowers. So that hopefully I will be able to make a bouquet with them one day. And share that bouquet with my friends. And then while we're over here, let's gather these. And what do we need to repair this place? So we need mirage lumber. Whew. I still don't know what that's going to entail or how to build suction pumps, 20 of them. We're going to need 10 olive crystals, which means I'm going to be doing a lot more scooping with this bucket to try to get those. And orchaculium ingots. Whew. Well, that just means there's more wild places to discover in this world. All right, let's go ahead and gather up these little puddles. And then I need to go grab some eggs and visit George. <laughs> Cause that, that's our goal. We'll have to go tell him about all of the treasures that we found. Let's get down real quick. Get all of this clay turned into bricks. And yeah, we'll go, wait a second. What the, what, wait, what? Pardon me? Since when has there been a sheep? How long has there been a serious sheep just wandering my land? What? A sheep with fluffy white fleece. Give it fodder and you'll be able to shear its wool. Sheep's wool is loved by people the world over. This is the utter silence of shock. How did I miss an entire sheep? I, I'm legitimately stunned. I have no idea how I missed an entire sheep. I'm going to name the sheep Owlet because it, it looks soft, like a little Owlet. And Owlet was one of my favorite Wolf Quest wolves we had a while ago. And 
I'm gonna pretend I heard like a a I heard like an owl right before we found the sheep. And Cherry Bell, good to see you, girl. Good to see you. Let's give you a little brush brush pet. There you go. Also, welcome, Owlet. <gasps> Has the sheep been just like over in this area the whole time? And I just didn't know. I'm having a bit of an identity crisis right now. I think even though I love keeping the area really wild looking, maybe I do need to put a little bit of effort into actually like making some paths and cleaning some things out of the way. Just, just, I'm beginning to get that impression <laughs> that it wouldn't be a bad idea, that it just wouldn't be a bad idea. All right, well, let's go ahead and give George this egg. And then I think that's actually going to wrap up an extremely full and exciting day of flowers, of getting ready to go ahead and be able to visit a whole new treasure-filled golden mine next time. Like, what? And finding new wood? This is... Ivy Bear, how did you get in their yard? This has been really wonderful. All right, George... Pardon me, I know that it's very late for you. That new girl at the beauty salon, Jian, was so excited about the trip here that she nearly fell overboard. Oh my goodness, well I, I hope that like everything worked out okay. Also have an egg. Uh -huh. You're really giving this to me. Thanks, lass. <gasps> he loves the silky egg even more, good to know. I enjoy being out in the water, of course, but there's just something about this town. Oh, maybe it's the fact your whole family's here. That, that'll do it, you know what I mean? That'll do it. All right, let's see. So how are we doing on his heart rate? Wow, we're almost there on George already. Holy heck, if you can find something that the villagers really like, things clip along pretty quickly, I'm just saying. Also, Damon, I said hello to you today, right? Sup? So, yeah, I said hello to you today. Well, all right, guys, new outfit, new treasures. We have like a crystallized olive. I have bags full of heavy treasure that I need to turn in tomorrow. We have got a whole bunch of bricks properly being made up with the clay. And I think we're doing fantastic. Heck, I can't wait to be able to see what George like can tell us about like all of the treasure that we're finding on our farm too. But all right, guys, if you guys could, do please leave a like for the new mystery durable logs. We'll have to see what they become. And if, oh, and my bag is full, apparently. And if you guys would like to go ahead and join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. Ah! But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.